Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome to the dining room. Today we're talking about clothing and we are doing a Vogue inspired seven days, seven looks. I'm obsessed truly with everything that Vogue does, but their seven days, seven looks videos are amazing. I refer back to the Hailey Bieber one probably on a weekly basis. I love them so much and wanted to do my very own version today. So I have a lovely little rack here set up of what my typical week in outfits would be. This was really good outfit planning for me. We've got a lot of new in pieces over the last couple of weeks and it was a good way to sort through. I struggle in the morning. I struggle with getting dressed. I've done planning outfits videos before. I love to do that at the start of the week to see what I'm gonna wear for the week. Take a look at the forecast, plan it out, and it was fun. And we are even playing with some heels today to spice it up. So if you guys like these clothing outfit videos and want me to continue doing videos like this, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. And thanks so much to Vogue for forever inspiring us in our clothing world. And Hailey Bieber. We love you, Hailey Bieber. We also love her stylist. Style by Maeve, Maeve Riley. Maeve. A portion of this video is also very kindly sponsored by Revolve, and I have picked a few of their new in pieces to incorporate throughout my outfits for the week. And some of these pieces, like this sweater, and I am very excited to show you what I picked from Revolve. I'm very excited to see the pieces styled in my week. So if you wanted to shop any of the pieces from Revolve or any of the pieces that I feature and wear in this video, everything is going to be linked in the description box down below for your viewing and or shopping pleasure. And without further ado, let's dive in to the outfits. So my friends, we are starting with the outfit that I have on. Happy Monday to you. Monday, I'm usually feeling a little bit fresh and bright and cheery. I do love me a good Monday. I love me a productive Monday. I also recognize that I do work at home and I can technically spend my entire week in sweatsuits, but we try to get dressed for ourselves. It leads to a happier, more productive day. And this is a very, very typical outfit for me, a sweater and jeans, stretchy jeans. That's important. <laughs> we still gotta be comfortable while we're at home. So this sweater, is like all of the brightness and color and cheeriness that I want to fill my day on a Monday. This sweater is phenomenal. It's got this beautiful, very exaggerated collar. It's a very oversized fit and has these gorgeous, like baggy oversized sleeves. And it's one of those styles where if you were like cooking or making lunch, you can roll it up and it's not gonna bother you. It still looks very cute. The fabric is thick and delicious, perfect for staying a little bit extra warm as we go into the fall season. And I just love it. This is from L'Academy from Revolve. Such a gorgeous piece. I am absolutely obsessed. And when I saw it on the new end page on Revolve, I, it was a squealing piece, I squealed. So I have this paired just with a plain black belt and then my black, a goldy balloon jeans. I've had these balloon jeans for quite some time. I at one point said that it was the best pair of jeans that I had ever found. And honestly, when you're working from home and wanting to be comfortable, they are. They're the perfect stretchy, do everything in jean while still being somewhat flattering. They've got nice looseness throughout the legs <laughs> for my more thick thighed gals like myself. And then on the feet, I'm wearing my La Canadienne cowboy boots, my little Western inspired boots, which I have been actually wearing so much already this fall. One of those pieces that I pulled out from last year and I was like, wow, I forgot how much I loved these boots, they are amazing. And I did a little tuck with the jeans in them, which I think is really cool and nice and casual. However, I also wanted to toss in an option because this outfit is really cute for actually dressing up. If you wanted to toss on some heels, let's say you have a lunch meeting to go to, you have a little cheeky Monday night dinner or bevies out with the gals, maybe you have a date night on Mondays. I wouldn't say no to a Monday date night. Anyway, this is an outfit that is very easy to dress up. Love the versatility. The jeans make it easy and cozy, but if you want to be cute for date night, you could also add some heels. So I put on my pink, lovely little stretchy heels to go with the pink in the sweater. And that is a way to spice up my Monday outfit. It's turtleneck season, baby. You know what that means. On Tuesday, we wear turtlenecks. <laughs> Just kidding, I wear turtlenecks absolutely every day when it comes to fall and winter, let's be honest. So listen, not that I'm the biggest follower of trendy things, I'm not as with it with the fashion trends, but I do know that brown and chocolate things have been my favorite <laughs> this season. I have been trying to gobble up all of the chocolatey brown colored clothing things. So this turtleneck from L'Academy, again, that brand just speaks to my soul. Thank you Revolve for having L'Academy. It is amazing, this turtleneck is Fabulous. I actually bought this one myself. Love the next day shipping on Revolve. <laughs> and I love the color of this. It's a nice and thin turtleneck. A lot of the turtlenecks that I have are like the big, thick, chunky ones that are great for winter. But in fall, you know, like today, the sun is coming in and out. It can be a little bit toasty. So a nice like thinner 
turtleneck option is great. This one has a little bit of that like scratchy wooly feeling, but I love the hang of it. I think it's got a really nice drape. And this is another very typical outfit for me in the fall and a lovely working from home outfit, very easy and casual to bop around in. I can sit on my computer, but it's also spicy enough that I can go out. I've paired this with the same belt and jeans because that's very true to what I'd be wearing at home during the day. But I've also paired it with my totem boots, which I think give it a little extra elevated look if you wanted it to be a little bit more dressed up. You could totally wear this with sneakers too, but come the fall, I love to embrace all of my boots. And these totem boots were an old secondhand find that I found and I just love them so much. And I think they just make every outfit look elevated and extra delicious. So this is my Tuesday outfit. In the wise words of Jamie Genevieve, happy Wednesday, my dudes. I love this outfit so much. There's just, I love everything about it. This is the perfect casual outfit in my humble opinion and a very great transitional fall outfit. So we've got the H&M denim shirt that I featured in a recent haul. And this is kind of an outfit that you can switch up a little bit. You could do up the buttons and tuck it in if you wanted and it would still be great. I do love the option of having it loose and naked. Ed. So I put on my favorite a Goldie Brienne bodysuit with it. I love this white bodysuit. So so much. To dress it up a little bit, I added my gold jewels, which I think just perfectly adds a bit of spice to the outfit. And then I got a lot of questions about these actually in that lovely little haul video, my new one for fall. These are a pair of faux leather pants from Zara and they're little jogger pants with a lovely little tie here. They're very, very comfortable, very nice and stretchy and delightful to be in. Now I've also paired this with the loafers that you guys all voted yes to keeping. So thanks so much for your input. I really love them. They're super comfortable. They have such a thick, layer of squish in them, which makes my crinkle toes very, very happy. So lovely little leather loafer look for the fall. And this is my Wednesday outfit. Okay, happy Thursday, another comfy, cozy sweater coming at you. This is a recent find from Philippa K and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is a bit itchy and scratchy, so I did keep the bodysuit underneath this for a little protective layer on my skin, but I love this sweater so much. It's perfect and flowy and big, thick knit. I just love it so much. My same gold jewels on as always. And then I paired this with a pair of a goldie jeans and also my lovely little New Balance sneakers that the, the creaminess in the sneakers actually kind of match the sweater, which is great. I love a good easy sweater and jeans day. You could also dress this up by putting on any heels or boots, but it is just another usual working from home day, lovely sweater and jeans day, and this is my Thursday. All right, friends, happy Friday, best day of the week, the start to the weekend. Now, I actually wanted to show you two different outfits for Friday, Friday day and then Friday night, because it's not every week that I head out on the town or have a girl's night. So I wanted to show you my reasonable Friday outfit just in case, and then show you a separate going out outfit because those are two different things for me. So Friday, couldn't go through a week without having my white shirt outfit. So this is my beautiful Nelly Lotan white shirt. This is their York shirt. I love to wear a good white shirt with jeans, with pants, whatever. And this is a very typical outfit for me. So on Friday, I might be heading downtown, getting spicy in Vancouver. Maybe I'm getting my hair done. Maybe I have some meetings. I like to be comfy, but I like to be a little bit more business casual when I'm heading downtown because this is just my very much I'm dressed up, but I'm still comfortable outfit. So I've got the white shirt with these beautiful trousers that I just bought from Philippa K. They are very comfortable and these are the long dress pants. Absolutely love them. If I'm walking a lot downtown, if I'm doing a little seawall stroll, I definitely wanna have my sneakers on. So the New Balance sneakers continue. They've also got lovely white and cream in here, which I think just tie in the white of the shirt perfectly. I added a lovely little spicy belt. And this is my Friday day outfit. This is my getting done outfit. This could also be a perfect Monday outfit, actually. Meetings downtown, heading for lunch, what have you. This is my dressed up Friday outfit. Dressed up day outfit. Okay, anyway, you get what I'm saying. Now for the night. Okay, you guys, Friday night. Look at this dress. Oh my God. This is another Lacademy dress. Again, Lacademy speaks to my soul. This dress is everything. I'm not a big, like more mini dress wearer, okay? I occasionally dabble, especially if I'm heading out to an event or like a girls night or something. Jamie Page and I have a photo and I'm wearing this little silky pink dress number with knee high boots. And that is exactly what I want to emulate. But this dress is everything I wanted. I love the baggy sleeves. I love the checkers, the collar. 
It's just perfect. This is so fun and it's the perfect going out dress for me and my style. It also has shoulder pads, like it can't get better. Revolve Academy, you absolutely killed it with this dress. I love the color, it's perfect for fall, but it's also a dress that I feel like this color can be worn all year round. I love it so much. These boots are old Zara, very old Zara. They've got a little, little heel here and I am obsessed with this dress. Perfect for a Friday night out. I will absolutely be doing a date night or a girls night in this outfit. Did I mention it's not see-through? It's perfect, I could go on. I could go on forever. You can eat a giant meal in this. I can wear my anti-chafing thigh shorts. It's perfect. I love it. Please let me know your thoughts on this dress in the comments below. It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday. Happy Saturday, y'all. Here's my little groovy Saturday fit. This is a Song of Style top and it is incredible. It gives me very like Kate vibes, you know the brand Kate, which I lovingly call Kahati. <laughs> very much that style, which I am obsessed with. And obviously it's not as expensive as the Kate tops, but very much gives me that vibe. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous crinkle top with a very, very pointy, beautiful collar. It's very like vampy and feminine. I love it so much. Another cool feature with it is it has square buttons got square buttons, they're brown, so I wanted to pair it with brown pants, which I thought would be really cute. And this is a perfect like more dressed up outfit that you could totally wear with boots or whatever you wanted. But you could also just wear this throughout the day. But I thought it would be a really fun going out outfit. Maybe you have like a Saturday brunch, maybe you're going out for dinner, late lunch, whatever, on a Saturday, you just wanna cruise around. So I did put some heels on with it and I put some brown heels on to match the brown pants. Both of them are Reformation. But I think that for this outfit, the blouse steals the show. I also tried this on with black pants, like the Philippa K dress pants, perfect. Like it's a very, very versatile color. And I just love this blouse so much. It's got a really cool, like it's naturally like cinched in here, which I think gives it a really nice flow. I've just done up one button cause that's just how I like to live my life. I have no boobs, so I just wear it without a bra and just let my chesticles chill in the air. <laughs> but you could also do up the buttons and like tuck it into pants and that would be so beautiful too. But this top is such a gorgeous piece. I am obsessed. And so then if I was headed out for a little night out or if it was a little bit more chilly, I would throw on this coat. This is the Reformation coat that I featured in a vlog. It is so gorgeous. This coat is amazing. The plaid is beautiful and I think it really nicely goes with all the browns and the creams in this outfit. Put on my little brown bag and we're just a monochromatic piece of magic, aren't we? Give the hair a little Saturday night zhuzh and we're ready to hit the town. All right, my friends, Sunday, the final day of the week. On Sunday, I like to do nothing. I like to be a blob. And if I do do anything, it's me going to Costco, okay? So we can lovingly call this my Costco fit. <laughs> I live in sweatsuits. I have many sweatsuits. It is my favorite thing to wear. And truthfully, that's usually what I'm wearing throughout the week. But we are trying our best to get dressed and be more fashionable humans. But this is me in my purest form. I actually recently picked up this whole, this whole fit from H&M. This is a lovely little divided sweatsuit and I didn't have a black sweatsuit, so I wanted to get one. And this is lovely and thin and cozy. It is fleece lined, which isn't my favorite. I prefer jersey, but it's nice and thin, perfect for every day wear. These are old H&M boots. These are my favorite boots ever. <laughs> I wore them all winter long last year and absolutely plan to do the same this year. And then this coat I actually saw, I thought it was amazing. It's a much like thinner version of my TNA puffer coat, which I thought was great. You know, we recently moved back to BC. BC is definitely not as cold as Toronto. So I feel like this will be a nice in between from my like heavy winter parka, but when it's still chilly, wind chill, rainy, ugh. If I want something a little bit warmer than my very like thin rain coat, I thought this was a great option. So picked it up from H&M and and this is my very cozy Costco running, errand running Sunday attire, Ooh, which right now I am sweating in. <laughs> All right, my friends, and with Sunday over and out, that completes my seven days and seven looks. My planning the outfits for the week, outfits that I would typically wear throughout the week. I love fall, I love fall clothing, I love fall outfits, and I just want to explode in fall fashion. I want to be so cozy and wear all of the sweaters and also embrace this new going out in heels lifestyle. So I really hope that you enjoyed my picks from Revolve and seeing them styled throughout my outfits of the week. Again, all of the pieces that I mentioned will absolutely be listed in the description box down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much as always for watching and I'll see you all very soon for a new one. Bye!